Now we can look at another uh, technique. This Uradiaku is kind of different. Um, it's the opposite direction, obviously. It also requires a really solid setup. Uh, in, this, in this case, we're using a Shuto to the neck. So, what could possibly uh, go wrong? Let's first look at the, the um, what we would call the, the drill. This is the, the way to practice it, flowing through these uh, six scenarios. Number one. Taking the person down and they just jerk their arm away from you, freeing themselves to get to their feet and and here he does ends up with a number one of the other series. So in defense of this, apply pressure to their elbow, keeping them down, and hold firmly to your technique. You can't have such a supple grip that they just fall away from you or you're able to pull their arm away. Also, this is the optimum pin. We want to practice with all of our Aiki Ninjutsu technique. He's on his stomach, which all his weapons are away from you, he cannot do anything to you, and you're in full control and you have the full ability to flee if needed. Unobstructed escape. Another possibility, take him down, and his arm slips away forward for him just kind of the weight of his body pulls forward here to counter that you're just going to move with it move with it let his arm go down and guide it directly to the highest part of your foot back of his wrist goes on the highest part of my arch while my other knee drops onto his elbow Third possibility, Order Gyaku Kimiwaza Ropo. Uh, we take the person down, we lose our footing uh, with the, their weight falling forward and we're trying to hold on to them. Uh, it's easy to lose your footing. When this happens, we need to take a good base, moving into Seiza. You've, you've practiced your Seiza no Kamai every day in class, bowing in, out, sitting there when the teacher's talking. So you're gonna move into that stable position on the ground once you start to lose your balance. Whoop, lost my balance, Seiza. Pull the person into position. Apply your technique. Fourth possibility. Take him down. Okay, bends his arm. You're trying to leverage that shoulder and he bends his arm, scooping your elbow. You're trying to grab onto you. When that happens, pivot your body slowly in training. On the street, go fast. And apply this Kansetsuaza to his arm. trying to move into position, he bends his arm, turning your body, aligning yourself for the perfect Kansetsu. Fifth possibility. Uke pulls his arm out. You're going in to get that Kansetsu Waza and he just pulls his arm out. So instead of not knowing what to do, we're going to let him pull that arm out, catch it, 
and then roll into position on his back. Important to keep your shoulders higher than theirs. Focusing pressure on the elbow and shoulder. Notice when you escape, escape in a way that keeps you safe so you can get to your feet safely. Then pull it out. There it is. Just go with it. Hang in there. Sixth possibility, you're in position, attacking one arm, in this case on his back, and Uke uses their other arm to move you in, into a position where you're not as stable and you can counter. So here, he's grabbing my leg, in which case, the principle here is for you to use that other arm, always use what he's giving you first lesson of Kion Hapo. Here in this also demonstrated here in this Kimi Waza Ropo. This lesson applies. It's trying to pull you off. Oh, okay, I'll use that arm then. Apply leverage and escape in a way that keeps you safe and out of harm's way.